and welcome back to Tuesday Teaching Tips with Sally. I know it's a bit late today um, on this Tuesday evening. I've just finished teaching. Um, things have been happening here that I mean I haven't been able to pop on before now today. But we're now back for a, a, a good stretch of time. So subsequent Tuesdays, come in and you can find me. But okay, what's it all about today? My teaching tip for today is that you're just one little tiny click, one tiny click away from getting five fabulous resources um, that are so easy to use and will really help you in your teaching studio. And you'll see that actually if you look above on the um, uh, our web our web page here you can see that there's a link there that you can click or I'll put a link just below this video here when I finished so that you get access to our teacher success toolkit and uh, I'm just gonna say hello to Sharon because and Sharon's probably gonna give me a wave as well and I'm sure Sharon's got our teacher success toolkit because nearly 400 people have already got this and are using it now you might be saying what am I gonna get for my uh, my one little kick you get five really um, useful resources Resources um, that will help you to save that will save you time and help you to get really organized and get connected with your students as well so you're going to get a motivation questionnaire and that's really really interesting that you give to your students and then they take it away and you find out a little bit about what makes them tick and for example you know what do you like best about the piano what What's your favourite thing about piano lessons? What's your least favourite thing about piano lessons? I love it when they come back with it, that question, and they say, they're not long enough. And I think, oh yeah, I might be doing something right then, because I always doubt that I am. Anyhow, motivation questionnaire, you get that. That's the very first thing you get. The second thing is that you get our better question um, leaflet leaflet that will really help you to ask questions in really purposeful and meaningful ways to all your students in your lessons really really useful with advanced students this is uh, when you're kind of lacking um, the right questions to ask to actually help them to move their pieces forward and uh, to develop the musicality behind it so that's the second thing the third thing is a resource to um, help your pupils improve their sight reading. I mean, what's not to like about that? But this really, really does help them to self-assess when they're doing their sight reading. OK, so that's the third thing. The fourth thing, another great thing, we've had lots of feedback about our key signature cards and some of the games. Sharon makes some really good suggestions for games that you can play, because all these come with little videos as well, where you get either Sharon and I kind of popping in and saying, oh, have you tried this? Um, so that's the fourth thing. And the fifth thing is our most fabulous, most fabulous uh, modulation road trip. And that is a printout that you can do that will help students to kind of see what the different uh, places that you can visit typically are that when you go into a modulation. So when you're doing a sonata or something, it's really, really important to know not just what key it's in but what key might it go to and uh, how it's going to get there and stuff like that so that's our one click and you get five free resources when you sign up for our teacher success toolkit I do hope you uh, you, you sign up for that because I'm sure it'll help you it certainly helps me in my teaching studio so thanks for watching I can see yeah I've got Charlotte there as well thanks Charlotte have a good evening wherever you are good afternoon of teaching and See you next week. Bye for now.